Hey guys, welcome back to Nozi Technology. My name is Shripal and in this video, we are going to learn how we can install the Oracle 23C on the Linux platform and how we can create the database in 23C with pluggable database. So all the things we are going to learn step by step. Don't skip the video, otherwise you will miss the steps. If you are new on my YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the, my new video notification in your mailbox. So without wasting your time, let's move on the computer screen and start the practically. So guys, this is our Oracle Linux 8.4 machine. Let me show you the OS version. So we are going to install Oracle 23C on this Linux. Let me check the IP address of this machine. So IP address is 192.168.16. Let me take the session on putty. I hope this is visible to all of you. Let me clear the screen. Okay, now. So guys, in this practice, I'm going to follow the following document, which is already published on the OCP technology official website. I will put that link in video description. So let's check the software and requirement. VirtualBox 7 I'm using here and Oracle Linux 8.4 OS version. And you can download 23C Oracle database free version from here. This is the direct link and system requirement minimum 1 GB required for the Oracle 23C but Oracle recommend 2 GB RAM and minimum 10 GB disk space and swap area minimum 2 GB and recommended by the Oracle two times of the RAM whichever is lesser but here is a big update for the Oracle database free version there is a RAM limitations which is max to max 2 GB okay you cannot exceed it even if more than memory is available in your machine Okay, let's come on the step one, enable developer channel for the Oracle Linux 8. So you need to run the following command, which will be enable the Oracle developer option in the Oracle Linux 8. Just copy this command and paste here on your put and then hit enter. Perfect. The developer option is finally installed and activated now. In this step two, install the Oracle database pre-install. So you just copy the command and let me clear the screen first so that it is more visible to you then paste then hit enter the pre-install rpm will automatically create the oracle installation honor groups and also set all the kernel configuration settings that is required for the oracle database installation okay finally it's done now step three just run the following command local install keyword is looking the rpm at your machine okay so we have already downloaded the that rpm so let me copy that rpm on the machine using the win scp and then we'll run that following command okay so let me do it quickly okay i have copied the rpm and also giving the permission 775 to this rpm so now just go here and just copy the command paste here and then hit enter so it is executing now it will take few minutes so guys finally oracle database 23c software installed successfully after 23c installation on linux let's create the database and configure the listener just using the following steps we need to edit the configuration file which has the entry about database creation let me show you the entry of this file that file has lot of entries see here is the complete description about all the parameters and this is the database environment like by default it is creating the name oracle sid is a free if you want to change you can change here and this is the oracle home address by default and the pdb name is a free db01 and listener name is a listener number of pdbs it will be creating only one pdb okay and cdb container is equal to true and complete environment is loading here after that there is a database creation process will be start if you want to change the database name you can change just here see the oracle database is not configured yet you must run this this file command this config command as the root user to the configure the 
database copy the command here and just paste here that's it okay now it is asking here to enter the oracle database sys system and pdb admin password so let me enter here then enter again confirm password it will take few minutes to creating a database so till then just see i'm fast forwarding the video okay so finally our database creation successfully completed let's come on the next step set the environment variable just log in with the oracle user and set the batch profile in my case i haven't changed anything in the database creation so just uh, i'm just copying paste all the parameters from here because all are same okay then done save it let's check database connection is creating or not let me load the batch profile first and run the sql plus command perfect okay perfect so finally you can see our database is created and database name is a free and pdb name is a free pdb1 okay let's check the uh, tns entry and listener status first just uh, exit from here let me clear the screen first you know lsnrctl status here you can see the listener is started with the free service name let me check the tns ping so if suppose we want to create a connection with the database using the service name plus okay the password is oracle hash one two three at this as sysdba perfect we are connected with the database but we have a free pdb1 so we want to connect directly to pdb so for that let's try free pdb1 enter okay it is showing the error we do not have the authorized permission to directly log in in the database let me show you the tns entry first you can see here there is a only one entry which is a free okay so we need to add the entry of the free pdb1 so let me open it and add the tns entry for the pdb database you can just copy and just go down press i and type enter then paste here and then just change the service name is a free pdb1 also change the service name here pdb1 perfect now save it okay now let's try again this time you can see you are connected with the pdb1 directly okay so if you're showing the command pdbs this time you only showing the pdb1 that is pluggable database okay i hope you really enjoy this video and if you learn little bit from this video please subscribe my youtube channel and like comment on this video thanks for watching see you in the next video till then take care and bye, -bye.